Okay, we're gonna have a little walk through my subs. Right here, we got a JL Audio uh, 10W3 D6. It's a dual voice coil. I don't know the wattage on it at all or anything, but if you can see that right there, it's kind of hard through the grill. That some uh, I got this sub for free, and someone didn't take care of it, and there's a huge hole in the surround. So I gotta replace that. It's in this box, dual ported. It was originally for a Roadmaster system, I think. I don't know, but it has a tweeter, little mid-range, and then it had a dual voice coil sub. Well, I put that in there just to give it a little bit of a home. Then down here we have a dual hatch Sub Zero bandpass box that I got for 27 bucks, and it wasn't taken care of very well. In here, it's kind of hard to see, but you got your two spaces. It's really small. I don't know if they're for shallows or what, but it's tiny in there. And, uh, well, it seals up all nice and stuff. You know, it works. Uh, I just haven't used it. Going over here, beneath the stereo, we have... I have never even heard about one of these till I bought it. It's called the Jaguar WW10. It's a uh, 10 inch, 200 watt, and all that good stuff. It's in a Q Logic box, which uh, originally the JL was in. Down here, in a previous video, these were running, and the video didn't do justice, but uh, we got 212s, older ones, Radio Shacks. I've worked on them personally, so they'd actually do good. And it's in a box I got for 20 bucks, and the thing's brand new. <laughs> It's pretty sweet. Moving over here, we got a. I got this sub for five bucks with this box all wired in. It's a JBL 102D GT series. It's 230 watts peak, 130 RM or 260. I mean, uh, 130 RMS, 10 inch. It does pretty good. I had it in a the bigger box where the JL is and playing it on a stereo and it kicks pretty hard. In here is this. Let's try to get it out of there. One of my 3.8s. It's called Mic Audio or something like that. It's just put in this little tiny box that I originally got it in. It's kind of got a cracked dust cap and all that good stuff. Yay. That's where the terminal was. I don't know where it went. But, yep. And over here, can't see them because of the grills, but these subs are cool. They're eight. They're USA or American Hi-Fi. The cone is clear, made out of some sort of weird material. And uh, these are in custom-built boxes that look really crappy but work okay. There's a second one down there. And and this misery of uh, old speaker cabinets. There's an 8 in there. There's two 12s. And these ones down here. Don't know what those have. These two over here have 10s. And, oh, there's a few more. Back in here, it's going to be kind of hard to see. I got to move these old 6x9s that don't work. Okay, so back here, we got two surround sound subs that are exactly the same. They're Dura brand, Walmart brand. And over here, we got a Sony. This is a 6.5, these are 6.5. And, and then we got this little tiny sub right here. It's only like a four inch or something, and I was bored, so I mounted it backwards one day, and I just left it ever since. And then, it's, uh, here's an HP uh, sub that I'm using with the uh, original speakers with the TV, because I used to have the 12s hooked up to it over there, and they kind of got me in trouble a lot. Well, yeah, that pretty much covers it base-wise, what I got in my room. Uh, Wait till I get a car. It'll be crazy. Alright.